Hello, welcome to Shop Talk. We're going to look at that uh, steel MS460 Magnum chainsaw. Very popular saw here in the Pacific Northwest. And we'll get up close and look at some great features on this saw. This saw is 76 cc's, 14.6 pounds on the uh, power head, and capable of running up to a 42 inch bar. This one features a 28 inch bar and chain. That's a 3 8 bar and chain sprocket nose and a semi-skip chisel bit meaning the sequence is staggered and we'll just look at some of the features on this saw it's got the steel quick stop chain brake system it's designed to stop the chain in fractions of a second or inertia when the saw kicks back if the kickback is sufficient enough it'll kick that on just from the inertia of the kickback got the nice large hand guard there this this piece is called the hand guard got the master control switch right here it's a single lever uh, operating the choke starting throttle lock on off switch and choke is all the way down high idle right here and then off is all the way up. Got the thr trigger throttle interlock right here. <clears throat> this is a nice safety feature. If you were carrying this through the woods running, which you shouldn't be, and a limb were to come up here and hit it, it'll keep that uh, trigger from uh, throttling wide open. Your hand has to be in place. Operator presence, we also call this. Got the automatic bar and chain oiler. And it is adjustable right through here. There's those large falling bumper spikes. Gives you a lot better control when you're uh, doing some cutting, bucking, or falling. It's got the large rear handle guard, and it's a foot pad too. And that's this piece right here. This is also <clears throat> this protects your hand. In uh, the event of the chain flicking off, you can see this here helps protect your hand from getting that chain slapping up there and getting your hand. All protection here. This is also a foot pad for starting the saw. Set it on the ground and you put your foot right in here and get a good grip on that handlebar. And it makes it a lot easier to start. It's got the decompression valve also. Makes starting a lot easier. It's this little button on top. And that pops out when you're uh, starting this and it wants to start or tries to start that button pops up. You don't have to manually pull it up, it'll pop up. Makes it a lot easier. It's got the elasto starter rope. And you can see the, the give there, it's got give in it. That's really nice for uh, starting this saw. It's a lot easier on your hand. Got the translucent fuel tank. And outside during uh, daylight conditions, you can actually see the level of the fuel by looking, looking at the side of your tank. It's translucent, meaning you can uh, see the uh, fluid through there. It's got the toolless fuel and oil cap. These are really nice features. So you can get a good shot of that. Just flip that up, and then you just got a grip there, and you can turn it, take the cap off. Same on the oil. Just flip up the black lever there, and turn it. This has a really nice factory dual ported muffler. This has not been modified. This is a factory dual port and you can see the exhaust port right here. And then it's got a port right back there. See if we can see that. Yeah, right there. Giving you the factory dual port. Just a real nice setup. Carburetor is adjusted through here. Right here. 
can, we'll try to get a shot at that air cleaner. It's got that heavy duty filter system. Just a real nice heavy duty filter. This outer piece comes off for easy cleaning. Just peels off and you clean it. It's a very nice saw. Very professional saw. Uh, we'll go out and make a cut with this saw now. <laughs> 